How is it going Samsung users Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm going to show you some really important hidden settings that every samsung user needs to change on their samsung phone right now with that being said stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's see for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started first let me show you how to hide the contacts number that appears on your caller screen As you can see I'm getting a call on my phone and it only displays the contact name without showing the actual number. Now this can be super useful when you are away from your phone and you don't want others to see all your contact details which also includes the phone number of that person. Now to disable this all you have to do is open the phone dialer tap on this three dots menu go to settings and scroll down until you find this option called other call settings. Simply go inside and disable this option that says show numbers in call by default it is enabled on your phone but you need to turn it off once done now when you receive calls on your phone it only shows the contact name without showing the actual number there are times when we have to give our phone to other people just to make a phone call or to browse something in google chrome but instead what they do is they just open your gallery and start browsing all your private photos or they even try to check your conversations in whatsapp Did you know Samsung has this feature called pin apps that prevent people from doing all such unwanted things? To activate this feature, first you need to go inside your phone settings, security and privacy, then scroll down and select other security settings. Here you get this option called pin apps. It is disabled on your phone. Just go ahead and turn it on. Now let's say I want to pin this YouTube app so no one else can go beyond this app. I just need to open my recent menu, click on this YouTube icon and i get this brand new option called pin app just select that now if i give my phone to someone they can watch videos or do anything they want in youtube but there is no other way to close youtube and open any other application on your phone the only way to fix this is by entering your password or using your fingerprint i think it's a great feature if you're really concerned about your privacy the next important setting you need to change is inside the samsung internet browser Did you know Samsung browser has a lot more useful features than the Google Chrome? For example, there is one feature called secret mode and it's actually like an incognito mode that we have in Google Chrome but with more added security. If I just tap on this menu button, select settings, go inside personal browsing and click on this option called secret mode settings. Here you can actually lock your secret mode with a password. Once you enable this, nobody can access your secret mode unless they have your password. And the reason why you need this is because on the Samsung browser you can also save pages and bookmarks inside the secret mode. It just gives you the same browsing experience but with added security and nobody will be able to access your data without your password. Next, if I go to gallery and I want to lock a particular album, I just need to press and hold on this three dot menu. Here I have this brand new option called lock album which you probably don't have. Now when I want to access that specific album, It asks me to scan my fingerprint. By default, Samsung doesn't give you this useful feature to lock your private albums, and if you really want to activate this hidden feature on your Samsung phone, just click on this three dots menu, select settings, go inside about gallery and tap on this version number for 11 times. Now if you go back, you will have this brand new option called gallery labs. Just go inside and enable this option that says album entry locks. Just a quick disclaimer that it only works in Samsung Gallery. so all your logged albums can still be viewed in other applications next there is a very important setting that most people will overlook on their samsung phone and every samsung owner should enable this right now basically it helps you to find your phone in case if your phone is missing or stolen now to set it up just go to settings click on security and privacy here you get this option called find my phone just turn it on and enable these options called send last location and offline finding By default it is disabled on your phone but I will highly recommend you to turn it on. It helps you to locate your phone even if it is offline and not connected to any network. Now if you lose your phone somewhere you can easily locate the exact location by going to this website called smartthingsfind.samsung.com. There is another important setting that you need to turn on. If you just go to your phone settings, select battery and device care. Here you get this option called device protection. It is disabled on your phone. Just go ahead and turn it on. What it basically does is it protects your phone against viruses and malicious applications that you might have installed on your phone. 
once you have enabled it actually run a scan of your phone and go through all your applications to check if there is any suspicious activity found inside your phone not only this if you just tap on this three dots and go inside device protection settings here make sure you have enabled these options that are auto scan daily and scan when installing apps now what this will do is it auto scan all the apps on a daily basis and it even scan when you install a new app from the play store definitely enable these features this will make sure your phone is safe from all viruses and malicious activities so that's pretty much it for this video these are some important settings that you need to change on your samsung device right now if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i'm mr android and i will see you guys in the next one